You, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, but the question I'll be respectful and kind to you, but people think you're Don't be, you're Joe. I don't need you to be respectful and kind okay. to me. Be rude. Right. I don't care. I'm, yeah. I'll take I, any I question you throw at me. We've talked a lot about Cuban. He seems to be in the zeitgeist lately because he's gone all in on DIE. He, or, well, they call it DEI, but it's DIE in my book. Um, he has become radically anti-Trump, even though he used to do some business and, and some stuff with the administration. He loves Kamala Harris, doesn't really know why, and it's a little bizarre because he's a capitalist billionaire who's done quite well in America, but doesn't seem to understand what what actually made him do so well. Uh, anyway, he went on CNBC to say he was America first, then kind of not America first, then he likes Trump, doesn't like Trump, might help Trump. It's all very confusing. We let you go on for a half hour. You're not, I, maybe you will change someone's mind. I don't know. I've heard it all Joe, before. Joe, I've sat there it's in meetings fine. and I know I have. I sat I, in a meeting in Phoenix and I said, okay. I don't want to talk. I tell, I tell the campaign, I don't want to talk to people who already are voting for Kamala. I want to vote, talk to people who are okay. thinking they're voting for Trump or undecided. Well, Those maybe you're changing some minds today. I, I don't know. I, you look at Twitter. You, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, but the question I'll be respectful and kind to you, but people think. You're, don't be you're Joe. Kind of I don't need you to be respectful and kind okay. to me. Be rude. Right. I don't care. I'm, right. I'll take I, any I question you throw at me. I don't care if people are yelling at me, screaming at me, calling me names. You know, Elon you calls like me a it. racist, you, a turd. I think except, you I must like it. You must, you're, it's you're, not that you I like it. it I know it's at stake. Well, you must eat it up. You're, if if Trump's got a nose that's as long as a road, your skin, from what I see people say to you on Twitter, must be as thick as, you know, from Boston to L.A., Mark. And that's fine. Yeah, I mean, but you, you obviously enjoy what you're doing and God bless you. You got a billion. You're still going to have a G650 after this election. So what the hell? Yeah. You know, it's what's best for the country. That's what I care about. And look, let, let me just add, if Trump wins last time when he won, he asked me to help on health care, on PPE. I sat with Peter Navarro and helped him come up with a mass company and help them grow. And that was all domestic production. I'll do the same thing. I'm America first. First, you know, that's the wrong way to put it. I am, I am what's best for this country, country over party, country over all. I just think Kamala Harris, without any question in my mind, is the better candidate and the better president for this country. First off, I always think it's hilarious when people give you so much credit for putting up with hate online. Have you guys ever read some of my comments? People say some pretty bad things about me. You know, you don't have to look at your phone all day and you can block people and mute them and just not pay attention to it. There are people out there who are doing far more dangerous things than Mark Cuban and I, I assure you of that. That's number one. Number two, I like how he has to like walk back from saying America first, even though there's nothing wrong with being America first, obviously. And then he, you know, he kind of hedges his bets on that. However, he did say something interesting there, which was that he would work in an administration if Trump called on him. Now, Trump, if we know one thing about Trump, it's like he's good at putting the feuds aside when he feels like he can work with somebody, right? He makes fun of people, calls them all sorts of crazy names, and then brings them into the administration. He did that the first time around. He's done this in his entire career. So to Cuban's credit there... I do believe that it's possible Trump in an administration, there might, tr Cuban's doing a lot with pharmaceuticals right now and, and low cost drugs, prescription drugs. It's like maybe Cuban could help on that. I think Trump would do it. And I actually do believe that Cuban might be able to do it. That is more evidence that you should actually vote for Donald Trump, Mark Cuban, because try to picture it the other way now. Kamala's president, is she gonna call Elon Musk to help with government efficiency? No, they will be absolutely at odds. And you damn well know that all of the government agencies and all of these uh, court cases that they're trying to do against Elon and his companies, these all of these things will be ramped up. That is just, uh, they will continue to go after Twitter to silence dissent. They will continue to go after his businesses. Clay Travis sat right here just a couple weeks ago and said that they will try to jail Elon. I don't know if that's off the table. Like, And that's the fundamental difference. So Cuban... It's good to see you would work with the opposition, but would your side, at the same time you're telling me how great Kamala is, which I'm never sure exactly why she's great, but she's the choice you like, would she ever do the very thing that you think is great, which is putting a uh, country before self? Think about that, Mark Cuban. Guys, today's show is sponsored by Aura, and this couldn't come at a more important time. Recently, over 2.9 billion records were stolen from national public data. That's personal info like full names, addresses, dates of birth, and even social security numbers, 
all leaked for free online. If you're not already protecting yourself, this is your wake-up call. As someone who's had to deal with a whole mess of spam calls, I can't recommend Aura enough. They monitor billions of data points, including your social security number across the dark web and public records to alert you of potential threats. Plus, they offer up to $5 million in identity theft insurance should the worst happen. I really wish I would have known about Aura sooner when I was getting spammed constantly after moving to Miami. Aura could have saved me from that headache. If you want peace of mind, check out Aura.com slash Ruben and try it for 14 days absolutely free. Once again, that's Aura.com slash Ruben and Aura will let you know if your data is out there and help prevent your info from being misused. Trust me, this peace of mind is totally worth it. 